Hey everyone, welcome to the third week of September 2024, Railfin Updates and Announcements. After some issues were resolved and more test runs being made, Arcade and Attica Steam Locomotive number 18 is currently scheduled to return to the rails for excursion trains on September 28th with a celebration ceremony at 9.30am that day. Over in New Jersey, the Woodstown Central Railroad has added a former Pennsylvania Railroad passenger car Mineral Spring to their fleet. This car will add a capacity for their upcoming excursion trains. Coming October 6 is the 46th Annual Lehigh Valley Regional Train Show and Expo from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. This train show will take place at 4100 Green Pond Road in Easton, Pennsylvania. We have more exciting things coming at the Railroaders Memorial Museum in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Today, on October 19th, there will be fall roundhouse tours for a $10 donation at the time of your visit at 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. on both days. These tours will allow folks to take a closer look at the museum's restoration projects and recent updates, including on Pennsylvania Railroad number 1361. Also, the volunteers there were hard at work preparing the Penn State University SD60i locomotive to receive a new turbo at the time I made this video. And to top it all off, the Railroaders Memorial Museum received a $19,600 grant from the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission to keep it open and educating the public. Also in the Keystone State, Cory Rails has shipped the original boiler of the Climax A313 to the main locomotive and machine works to have a new boiler built for the locomotive. About another $50,000 is needed to cover the cost for the new boiler, and donations and buying merchandise from their online store helps cover the cost. The new frame construction for Pennsylvania T1 5550 continues to progress, and a lot of welding has been done to get this part of the project finished. Coming Saturday, December 14th, is the Lima Train Show and Swap Meet in Lima, Ohio, that will go from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. At the Southern Michigan Railroad, five pieces of rail equipment have been moved to their main property. The restoration of the cabooses is already underway to prepare them for service on their excursion trains. The Pullman car restoration will begin and then progress as time and funding becomes available. Lastly, the freight cars are in good condition and will receive new paint in the future. Coming in eastern Kentucky, Kentucky Steam Heritage Corporation will have its fourth annual whistle blow event on October 5th with free entry thanks to their sponsors shown in this post below. If you own a steam whistle, bring it to this event for other folks to enjoy and help support Kentucky Steam. The CSX Heritage Units just keep coming as the Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis Heritage Unit has been released in Waycross, Georgia. The next interesting update is that the Abilene and Smoky Valley Railroad in Kansas, as six passenger cars from the Kansas Bell Dinner Train have been acquired by American Heritage Railways and the Abilene and Smoky Valley Railroad will be their temporary home. One individual from the railroad said that our agreement with Heritage Rail Management is to store the passenger cars, but we expect that HRM will allow the cars to expand seating capacity when needed, end quote. HRM will likely use some of the Kansas Bell cars for their other owned and operated rail lines outside of Kansas, such as the Branson Scenic Railway or the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad. However, the decisions have yet to be determined. And at the same time, there is also a possibility that some may stay at the Abilene and Smoky Valley Railroad permanently. The 2024 Holiday Edition of the Rocky Mountain Train Show will take place at 5280 Arena Circle at Loveland, Colorado on November 30th and December 1st. This train show features over 200 tables of trains with many operating layouts from N-scale to G-gauge. The Pacific Southwest Railway Museum in Campo, California has received some amazing support recently. First, the museum received a $450,000 grant from the American Rescue Plan Act to resolve flooding and drainage issues. And a $50,000 grant was given from San Diego County. Lastly, two separate $25,000 grants were made from private individuals for the museum needs and to preserve railroad history. 
Also, there is an upcoming great train show at the Del Mar Fairgrounds on Saturday and Sunday, October 5th and 6th. And we finish this episode off with exciting news as the Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad in LB, Washington acquired three former Reading passenger cars from the North Carolina Transportation Museum in Spencer. The tourist road has said that the funds have been set to eventually transport these cars to their new home. Thank you all so much for watching this video and showing your continued support for this channel and for rail preservation. Don't forget to click on the links below in the description to learn more, buy your tickets, or donate. To stay up to date on more exciting Railfin updates and announcements, click on the subscribe button and select the receive all notifications option after clicking the bell. And of course I will leave a playlist of the Railfin updates and announcements videos on the left, as well as another video that YouTube will recommend for you on the right. That is all for this week, this is Transcontinental Railfan, out.